demonio è furbo, è un puro spirito, non si fa mai vedere, non si fa mai sentire, però Dio a Dio il demonio tenta l'uomo al male, vuole strappare le persone da Dio e portarsele con sé all'inferno. Hi, thanks for tuning in to another video on Armor of God. It has been great serving all of you and hopefully you will always learn something new when you watch our videos. So now buckle up and let's get right on it then. I always love sharing something from Monsignor Rossetti with all of you and this time it's no different as he shared something about bafflement. But before that, a while back I did share with you a short audio clip of Father Chad Ripperger talking a little bit about this demon of child sacrifice that has been driving the push for abortion in our society today. The last of the five generals is Balf Baphomet, and he is the demon of child sacrifice. In fact, one of the things that uh, exorcists are starting to catch wind of is the fact that the Satanists are going into the medical profession to become abortionists because then they can basically be killing children. Then we have post-abortion abortion. Nobody wants to call it infanticide, right? Because they want to say, you know, it's post-abortion abortion. Because if it's infanticide, then basically we are not any different from the Mayans or any of these other people that were killing their children. But if you look at what our court system has done in allowing abortion, allowing gay marriage, and striking down the fornication laws, the court system in this country in the last 35 years to 40 years has delivered our country into the hands of the five generals that execute Satan's plans. That's what that means. Anyway, let's get back to what Monsignor Rossetti has to say about this instead. He shared a case being handled by one exorcist who said that Baphomet, a high-ranking demon, was the head possessor among the demons possessing the victim. The afflicted young woman was regularly assaulted and manipulated by demons, and the exorcism sessions were intense and full of swearing, yelling, growling, lewd gestures, and vomiting. At the end of one of the exorcism sessions, the young woman came back to herself after being in an active demonic state for almost an hour. And the exorcist asked, as he typically does at the end of every session, How are you? What happened during the session? And the woman said to the exorcist, He is angry with you. He said that he is going to get you tonight at midnight. According to Monsignor Rossetti, this is not the first time the demons have threatened exorcists. Sometimes these demons will tell exorcists when they will attack, and at other times they leave it unknown. But from their experience as exorcists, when these demons say they will attack the priest, they will indeed do so. It is not a bluff. However, the evil one is not allowed to do any more than God allows and he always provides the graces to overcome any demonic assaults. A few hours before midnight, another exorcist prayed some deliverance prayers over the priest. This had the effect of somewhat blunting the coming attack. He then commended himself to the protection of the Blessed Virgin, sprinkled holy water around the room, and went to bed. Around midnight, he was awakened by an intense agitation and temptations. These were followed by feelings of utter darkness. Recognizing the source of these strong mental attacks, the exorcist then said three times out loud, I offer these assaults for the liberation of the afflicted person. Instantly, the assaults lessened in intensity. Not only is this offering helpful for the afflicted person, it also impresses upon the demons, once again that all of their efforts are self-defeating. Everything they do ultimately redounds to the glory of God and furthers God's kingdom. The attacks did not dissipate completely until a couple of hours had passed. Then, the priest went back to bed and slept soundly, having once again experienced the surpassing power of Jesus and his defeat of the devil. Giving into fear of the devil and his minions only empowers the demons. Faith is more than simply acknowledging that God exists. It implies trusting in God and in the victory of Jesus. We surrender ourselves completely into God's hands. No priest will long survive the sometimes intense spiritual combat of an exorcist calling without such a personal surrender. I've recently heard that some people say, well, Satan loves you, or these particular people uh, Satan loves. I want you to know very clearly that Satan doesn't love you or anyone. Satan is incapable of love. He's a complete malignant narcissist. The only person Satan loves is himself. And he'll burn everyone in hell, which he does for his own pleasure. He is a sadist. As a matter of fact, in the midst of an exorcism, uh, I had a new uh, staff member with me, and I said, I want you to know what you're dealing with. And so as the, the 
demons were coming forward and the possessed person, I said, in Jesus' name, I command you, tell me, if you could, would you stick a knife in the back of everyone present, twist it, and laugh? In Jesus' name, tell the truth. Snarly goes, yes. There is not a drop of, or morsel of compassion or mercy in any demons, especially in the prince of hell and of, of Satan himself. Now, sometimes, though, Satan will disguise himself as an angel of light. Some people say, no, I've, I've met Satan, and, and he was very nice to me. He said he loved me. Nonsense. He will disguise himself, as the Bible says, as an angel of light. But if you cross him, uh, or you don't do what he tells you to, you'll see exactly who and what he is. As one possessed person told me, she said, I've met Satan, you know, I've encountered him, and he is vicious. He is indeed vicious. But in another case, I remember commanding the demons to tell the truth. I said, tell me the truth. In Jesus' name, you must tell the truth. Does Satan love you? And they said, no. Now, in Jesus' name, tell me the truth. Does Jesus still love you? Yes. Even the demons know that Satan doesn't love them, doesn't love you. But Jesus does. Even as sinners, he forgives us and loves us. Never doubt the love of Jesus for us. And never be fooled. Satan is vicious. His heart is full of hatred. He can't love. But Jesus' heart is full of divine love. May that divine love wrap itself in arms around you. May you feel God's love. And may you be at peace. And may God bless you. Did you know that exorcism is really a battle of ownership? Monsignor Rossetti touched a little bit on this subject too. According to him, at some point in an exorcism, the demons will invariably claim the possessed person belongs to them and demand the exorcist to back off. This also tells the exorcists that the demon's hold on the person is being seriously threatened, or else they would have not said something like, this person is mine. Their control is waning and they are frightened. Every exorcism is a battle for ownership. Who does this person belong to, Jesus or the devil? The devil grasps for control, but Jesus gives us free choice to choose him. During an exorcism, the exorcist will invite the afflicted person to renew their baptismal vows. Do you reject the devil and all his works and all his empty show? The person follows with an affirmation of faith. Then the exorcist will typically hold up a crucifix and say, as in a baptism, I claim you for Jesus our Savior by the sign of his cross. Well, that is all for this video. I really do hope you've learned a lot from this video and thanks so much for taking the time to watch our video. Anyway, just to share an update with you guys, we've been using video footage from Motion Array and Adobe Stock Images for our last video and this one, with the help of those who have donated to our PayPal. I can't thank all of you enough for your support of our works and some of the contribution will also be used to buy the books to be given away to a few selected people as part of our monthly giveaway. For those of you who'd like to contribute, there's a PayPal donation link in the description box down below. Any contribution is appreciated, and thanks in advance to all of you. Well, that's all for me. Thanks so much, and God bless you.